Hello there, welcome back. We have got one from my Flavourly box today and it's a, an extra pale ale and it's from Gun Brewery in Sussex and it's Scaramanga. That James Bond character, I think it was, eh? Right, anyway, let's uh, see what Untapped says about it. What is that? It comes in at... I don't know. It's 3.9%. A session ale, definitely. So it's from Gun Brewery in Heathfield in East Sussex in England. Details at Style Guide. Oh, it's gluten free. A refreshing extra pale session ale brewed using Sussex spring water, extra pale malts, and an indecent amount of zesty floral, also oh delicious UK Goldings and Bramling Cross and US Chinook hops. Unfined, naturally hazy, and suitable for vegans. Gluten free. It's the descriptors are light, hoppy, dry, citrusy, fruity. And that has got 7,020 check-ins with an average score of 3.44, which isn't bad at all. So, I love the I love the design. That's sort of like a, a, like a runic sort of a theme. It might be a rune, I don't know. Anyway, let's crack it open. Oh, we got fizz there. I've got my flavourly glass, and it's pouring very pale, pale yellow golden straw colour. That is very nice indeed. It's got, what, a finger and a half, a rocky, moussey foam. Colour, it's very pale, yellow, golden colour. Slight haze to it. Some slow rising bubbles. I filled it too high, I think, eh? Oh, I'm getting... Piney, citrus. It's like a lemon zesty, that's it. Oh, that's very nice. You know, I'm getting like rhubarb there as well. I've just recently drunk a Best of a Barb's Bunch, which was a rhubarb beer. But that that's that smells like rhubarb to me. This is nice. Anyway, cheers my dears. Not too much carbonation in the tongue, a wee bit. Very pleasant. Oh, there's a slight sweetness at the end, a fruity sweetness. That is very nice, my goodness. Anyway, let's see. What does the tasting sheet have to tell us? Nothing, it's blank. From craftbeer.com. Link is in the description. I don't know if anybody else uses these. I've never seen anyone else using these, but. Anyway, colour. So that is a very pale, it's maybe a 2 to a 3 to a 4 sort of a, it's, it's lovely colour, it's like a very pale grapefruity colour, grapefruit, I might be getting a bit, of, so I've got to say 2 to 3, the clarity, it's got a slight haze, the head retention, it's poor, not poor, it's medium. I do like that very simple design, but effective, isn't it? Gun Brewery, this is a first for me. So, colour of foam, head retention, 
it's, it's probably medium, it's moderate, moderate, sorry, up to 60 seconds. The foam texture, it's a, a wee bit fluffy. The carbonation visual, it's, fa it's fairly slow riding bubbles, there is some bubbles there. The alcohol aroma, not a great deal, not, not detectable to mild. The hops, you're getting the citrus, you're getting like grapefruit, you're getting a wee bit pine maybe, fruity, the green I'm going to say, is there any, I don't know if there's like any floral notes here, like flowers, imagine sticking your head in a bunch of flowers and then, yeah, there's a wee bit of that, uh, the malt, it's probably more biscuity, grainy to biscuity, the Esters, I'm, so I'm going to say grapefruit there, you're getting a wee bit of that. Uh, the phenol is probably vanilla, always vanilla. The flavour and aftertaste, alcohol. It's mild, not detectable to mild. I have a trouble with that. The hop flavour, yeah, you're getting the citrus and the fruity, and you're getting the, the resinous, the pine uh, bitterness. The hot bitterness is moderate, I would say. It's restrained to moderate. It's not overly, it's not aggressive. The malt flavour is probably a bit biscuity. The malt sweetness is fairly low. Palate astringency is low. The body is quite drying. Palate carbonation is low to medium. The length is medium, up to 60 seconds. Balance and drinkability. We should just take that as a given. It's desirable. Everyone's desirable. Style appropriate. What kind of style is that? An extra pale ale. I wonder why extra. I don't know. Anyway, let's see if it's got any info on the can here. It's ingredients. It's Sussex spring water, barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. Does wheat give it that spiciness and cloudy haziness? I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Yeah, it's a uh, brood in Sussex. Uh, this refreshing extra pale session eels pairs the palest of malts with Sussex spring water and an avalanche of American hops. The hops give a vibrant zesty nose and a refreshing citrus finish. So that's the same as uh, Untapped. And it's got a wee bit. A, a hobo was, a sim was simply a migratory labourer. As an aside, my dad once got caught in the rain, so went into his charity shop, but this big like a, a great coat, like a raincoat thing. And we called that his hobo coat. A hobo, like a trap, you know. To help cope with the uncertainties of life on the road, hobos developed a secret system of symbols ah, that they would chalk on walls to provide information and warning to others. Our symbol meant man with gun lives here. But fear not, our beer won't force you to lift your hands any higher than your lips. <laughs> so that's what, so it is a symbol. That's why I was saying it was runic, it was like a rune. So it's a symbol and it means man with gun lives here. I've not got a gun. Guns are not allowed in Scotland. Well, shotguns being their license. Anyway, what's that got to do with it? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hopefully, ta ta for now. Cheers, my dears. 3.8 out of 5. <laughs> I've changed my rating system again. What's that? 6. Point 7.6 <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'll just make this up as I go along. It's just anyway. Thanks for watching. Cheers, mates. Ha, ha, ha.